Hey guys, how's life? Hope you all are doing fine. So in this video, we'll be talking about date and time picker dialogs. Basically, these are the pop-ups that you see when you try to select date or when you try to select time. And so that's what we are going to do in this video. So before beginning on, I would like to tell you that if you want to continue with me, you can go to this GitHub link and you can select a branch as startup project and then you can clone this startup project and then you can continue ahead with me or else if you don't want to get the startup project just go ahead with me and i'll tell you how to do it so now let's go into android studio so guys here this is my startup project so basically what i've done i just completed the ui so we have two buttons here that is get date and get time and these are the two text views that is the date text view and the time text view and let's see what we have inside our main activity so here we have our buttons that is the date button and the time button and the text views that is the date text view and the time text view. So here in the on create method what I have done till now is that I have just found out my date time buttons and the date text view and the time text view. And then on the date button I have implemented the on click listener that is the handle date button and also on the time button I have set on click listener to handle the time button and let's quickly run this project and see what we have. So here if I click on the get date button, we have a toast that says handle date button and if we click on the get time, we have a toast that says handle time button. So now let's go inside our handle date button. First let me remove this toast and here I'll create three variables. First is the int year, current year is 2019, second is the month and I'll tell you why I'm doing this. This is third, third month and int date and today is 19th so let it be 19th so now what i'll do i'll create a new date picker dialog so date picker dialog date picker dialog equal to new date picker dialog and this date picker dialog takes in five arguments first one is the context and we'll pass this here for this activity second one is the on date set listener so new on date set listener and the third argument is the year Fourth argument is the month and fifth argument is the date that is the current date. That's all about this date picker dialog and now let's just show it. So date picker dialog dot show. So what this year month and date does is that whenever a pop up, whenever a date picker pop up comes up, the pop up has this year month and date set inside that picker. So let's run this application again and see what happens. So let me click on date text view or rather the get date button and we are getting the date here as 19th. The month is April though we have specified three here and that was intentional from my side because I just wanted to tell you that months are zero based. That is zero is January and 11 is December. So as you can see that right now we have this date year and month hard coded inside the code. So what if you want to get a dynamic date? So what we can do is we can get an instance of a calendar calendar equal to calendar dot get instance like this and then we can get the year by using this calendar object. So calendar dot get int field and field should be calendar dot year like this and similarly for the month calendar dot get field should be calendar dot month now it automatically handles the base value that is the 0 and 11 you don't have to do anything for that so calendar dot get field again the for date we should write calendar dot date like this and now if i run this application we should have the current date and current month now nothing happens when we click on ok so let's go inside our code and here on the date set method we haven't done anything that is we haven't set the date in the date text view so here inside the date set method we are getting int i i1 and i2 that doesn't mean any sense so let's change them to first one is year second one is month and third one is date so if we want we can use this date text view dot set text and let's create a string from this date so string year plus empty string then plus month plus empty string empty space sorry and then date like this and then what I'm doing here it should be date string not a string equal to that now let's see now date string now let's run this and see 
So if we click on date and if we want to change the year, we can go to this thing here and, and if we go to 2021 and let's select the change the month also, we say April or let's say July and 26th of July, that's my birthday. And let's click on OK here. And we see that we have the year here that is 2021 6 corresponds to July because again I'm telling you January is 0 that is why July is 6th and then the date that is 26th. Now for formatting of this date according to your needs I'll tell you later in the video. So now first let's go to the handle time button. So now let's remove this. Again, we need our calendar instance. So calendar calendar equal to calendar dot get instance. Again, we need the R int R equal to calendar dot get calendar dot R and then int minute because we need I am getting these variables because we need to pass them inside the time picker dialog. So calendar dot get calendar dot minute basically this calendar instance will get you the current time and so was for the date also so here we'll create our time picker dialog so time picker dialog time picker dialog equal to new time picker dialog and again it takes in five arguments so first one is the context that is this activity second is new time set listener and the fourth argument should be r and the rather the third argument was the r and the fourth argument should be the minute and the last argument should be a boolean value that is true or false for is 24 hour format so if you want to show your time picker dialog in 24 hour format you should pass in true here and if you want to show your time picker dialog in in 12 hour format then you should pass false here so now let's show our time picker dialog time picker dialog dot show like this and let's set the time also here let's create a string a string time time string equals to and again what we are getting here first one is the hour and second will be the minute what we are getting from our time picker dialog so time string is equal to r should be r should be r and then minute should be minute like this and now let's set the time text view time text view dot set text and like time string let's run it and I hope everything is fine and since we have passed through here we are getting a 24 hour clock here so let's select 23 that is 23 that is 11 pm and then for the time you can select it like this let's say 30 and here we see that hour is 23 and minute is 30 so what if you want your time picker to show the clock in the format that the user has saved in the settings like if we have set its phone in 24 hour format then the time picker should show the 24 hour format or if the user has set its clock in 12 hour format then the time picker dialog should automatically be switched to 12 hour format so for that we can do one thing we'll create a boolean variable here boolean is 24 hour format and we can get the 24 hour format of the device settings from this thing that is date format notice that there are three date formats here we'll be using the android text format so date format dot is 24 hour format and for the context we'll be passing in this and here if i change this is 24 hour view to is 24 hour format now let's run this application and if i click on get time we see that i'm getting a 12 hour clock because in my device settings i have set the clock as 12 hour so if we click on ok we are getting the time in 12 hour format so now let's change the settings to have the 24 hour format so let's change it here time automatic time zone and here we see that we have not used a 24 hour format so let's just change that to 24 hour format and now let's go back to our application and if we click on get time i am getting this 24 hour clock because in my settings i have changed my clock settings to 24 hour format so guys that's all about this time picker dialog now let's see how do we format dates now to format date we again have to use this date format thing here so first let's see how to format the date so here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new calendar or rather i'm going to get a new calendar instance calendar one is equal to calendar dot get instance and now what i'll do 
calendar uh, calendar one dot set and we need to pass in the field and the value so calendar dot year comma year should be year that is the selected year and calendar one dot set again the field calendar dot month should be month and then calendar one dot set calendar dot date comma date like this and in this instance of calendar we have set up this year month and date according to our needs and then what i'm going to do i'm going to use this date formatter now let's create a care sequence care sequence date care sequence like this and then we should use the date format and we should use the android.txt dot format date format dot format and here we need to pass in two arguments first one is the format string and the second one is the calendar so let's pass in e e e e for the date of the uh, day of the week and secondly we are going to pass in dd for the date and mmm for the month that is a shorthand version of the month and then y y y for the year and then secondly we need to pass in our calendar that is calendar one we have which we have just created and now what i'm going to do date text view dot set text and here we just pass our date care sequence now let's run this application again and if we click on get date and if we select 26th of march and we click on ok we are getting tuesday 26th march 2019 and if you are wondering that how do you need to pass in the format string that is this e e e d d d m m m or blah 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 so what you can do you can go to this uh, link here i'll provide this link in the description below basically this is for swift but uh, the format string is same for swift or uh, whatever the language you are using so here i'm using java so it works here also if you are using kotlin if it will work there also language doesn't matter here we just need to get the format string so you can go to this link here and so you can go through these examples and you can see what kind of date you want to show in your application and accordingly you can pass that string so now let's suppose if we want to just pass in like this march 18 2019 we can just copy this string from here now let's go back to android studio and we'll just change this format string to that string which we have just copied and now let's run our application again and we'll see what happens so let's select 20th of march and click on ok we are getting march 20 2019 and that is the same thing as this thing here so now let's see how to format time to format time again what we need to do we can we need to get our instance of a calendar calendar one equal to calendar dot get instance like this now similarly as in the date picker dialog calendar one dot set field should be calendar dot r and r should be r and calendar one dot set field field should be calendar dot minute and minute should be minute which we have just got back in the callback method and now let's comment this thing here and now let's create a care sequence care sequence care sequence equal to date format date format dot format format care sequence care sequence of the format string now let's use hh for r and mm for minute and a for am or pm like this and i forgotten one argument here that is the calendar one now let's set the text so time text view dot set text and should be care sequence like this now let's run this so if we click on get time we are getting a 24 hour format time 23 and let's change it to 15 and if we click on ok we are getting 11 15 pm so guys this is all about this time picker dialog and date picker dialog so if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so bye bye tata thank you take care have a good day and have peace